Hey guys, in today's video, you're going to learn about a refrigerator leaking inside and will not dispense water. This is the refrigerator that you're looking at now that I received a call from the customer that it will not dispense and it's leaking somewhere inside the refrigerator. So you're going to learn the top five things to check and then you're going to see in the video of how to solve this problem. So here are the top five reasons that will cause a refrigerator to leak. Number one is a blocked drain or frozen drain, a water inlet valve, a hole in a water line or a supply line. The default system issue will cause them to leak. The water tank assembly and then the water filtering housing. So with this refrigerator that's leaking on the call that I received from the customer is one of these five. So after talking to the customer and they're explaining to me that every time they tried to get water from the dispenser that the refrigerator leaks somewhere inside. They didn't know where. So I went out, started troubleshooting and I determined that it was leaking from the water tank assembly. Now you're about to see in the video of just how to troubleshoot and then repair and replace this part. So I've removed the crisper drawers and you're going to hear a little bit of talking in the background and I'm pointing to where the leak is occurring on this water tank assembly. And you're also going to hear and you're not going to be able to see me pushing the water lever at the dispenser but I want you to hear the water as I push it and I don't know if you can see it clearly but it's leaking now. So if you were not sure that the problem was the water tank assembly all you have to do is push the water lever at the dispenser Make sure you have the selection on water and it's leaking about midway on the last rung of this water tank assembly. Since we've already removed the crisper drawers, we're going to remove the top shelf and then you're going to have exposure to the water tank assembly. It has a plastic small top shelf. All you have to do is push down and remove it and then it has styrofoam on top of the water tank assembly. At this point, what I would suggest that you do is that you turn off the water supply line behind the refrigerator. You don't want water pouring out. So go ahead and turn that off now. After you turn the water off, we need to access the inlet valve, which on this refrigerator is to the left. In the back, also, this cardboard back plate needs to be removed. So this is the water inlet valve and this is a quarter nut screw. All you need to do is remove that screw, pull the inlet valve forward, excuse me, towards you. And we're going to remove this supply line that's connected to the water tank assembly inside. Now, if you're not comfortable, you can unplug the refrigerator. I didn't because I've done this many times. Some people use pliers to remove that water line. I marked the water line for those of you that don't know which line to use. But in this case, pair of pliers push upward and it will release it. It also has, as you can see here, a black ring. You want to pay particular attention to this because when you go to replace this water tank assembly, you want to put the right supply line in the right hole. Our next step is to go to the front of the refrigerator and we're going to remove the front kick plate so we can have access to the water line that feeds the water through the door to the dispenser. This particular kick plate has two Phillips head screws. Usually all you have to do is pull it off. So all you have to do is remove the screws and then we're going to have access to that water line that we're about to disconnect 
from that waterline coupler. Here it is right here. Now, I want you to pay particular attention to this coupler because you're going to need it later. Now that we release that water line from that coupler, I'm just showing you the two supply lines that you're dealing with and what to do next. We're going to remove the Phillip head screw from the bottom of the water tank assembly, which will give us some flexibility and allow us to pull out these two water lines. I also want you to see that there's a black ring and where the water lines inserted into the base of the refrigerator and where they're supposed to go next. You have a long supply line and a short one. The short one goes to the back to the inlet valve and the long supply line on this water tank assembly goes to the front to the door where the water is dispensed. This is the new water tank assembly we're about to install. And if you also notice, I cleaned all of that black mold or debris that was in the base of the refrigerator. You should always do that before you replace a new part. As I said earlier, just pay a little attention to the supply lines and where you should insert them with the new one. So this is the short supply line on the right, and the longer one is on the left. And all you're going to do is feed them until you line up the water tank assembly. This particular water tank assembly already has the foam on the two supply lines to the right. So all we have to do here is go ahead and put the Phillip head screw on the left side of the water tank assembly like you see I've done here and then we're about to attach the top so now we're going to attach the top of the water tank assembly with the Phillip head screw don't forget you still have to replace the styrofoam that goes on the top of this water tank assembly and you're going to replace the plastic cap that they placed on top of it so you have to leave it slightly loose so you can line it up a lot easier. So this is what it should look like when you've completed the job on the inside. Now, this is the water supply line that goes to the coupler to the door which dispenses the water. Now I want to make a note here. There are plugs on each end of the water supply line on the new water tank assembly. You must remove them or they will not dispense the water. So after removing the plug from the water supply line and then replacing that, putting it back into the water coupler, I like to use a small screwdriver and open that little small latch that secures that line inside the coupler. Then you replace the kick plate, just reinstall it, put your two Phillip head screws in, and you're going to do the same thing for the supply line on the back. Remove the plug. You're going to insert it into the inlet valve. Make sure it is secure and that it is not leaking. The next step is to reinstall the water inlet valve. Put your quarter nut screw back on it. Make sure, guys, that it is secure and that nothing is loose. Especially as you can see with this customer's house, they have wooden floors. Then turn the water back on and we're going to test. Replace the kick plate and we're going to test the water to make sure we're getting water to the door. So here was my surprise. As I teach you guys to test after you repair an appliance, when I use the cup at the dispenser, to get water and to fill up the water tank assembly, no water came out. The tank filled up, but it did not dispense water. And here is the surprise. This is a GE refrigerator, which is notorious for freezing the water line that goes through the door. So the reason I'm showing this clip a couple of times is all you have to do is disconnect the water line, put a towel under it, Close the door, push the water dispenser to prove to the customer 
that you have fixed their problem. For those of you that do not know, GE, especially the older GE refrigerators, has had a problem with their design where the water line freezes up and will not dispense water. So after I showed the customer by disconnecting that water line, pushing the water dispenser lever, that water is coming out, but they have a second issue. We need to defrost that water line. I explained to them just how to do it, and they are going to do it themselves. So problem solved, but we had to take another step to ensure that they understood that we did repair their refrigerator. A quick note, I am in the process of creating an app to make this easier for you guys. So be on the lookout for that. When it is finished, I will place a link in the bottom of our videos. Also, if you have not subscribed, I would appreciate it if you do subscribe for future videos. And any positive comments are welcome. As always, be blessed and be encouraged.